countless masters, always come and go, come and go, and bodhisattvas also, meaning lesser saints, yes. And uh, the bodhisattva is the one who almost become Buddhas, and they're going to be Buddhas sooner or later. And they still have to rely on the powers of many Buddhas, so they can do their rescuing work on the planet. Understand? The Buddha, no need to rely on any body power except giving power to whoever has this bodhisattva vow to save beings, or the Buddha save them themselves. When you became Buddha, your journey ends. Yeah, you can either save in the being, or you don't have to save any beings. Or you save the beings, and still you go up. You have no karma attached to you, you just go up. No matter how many you save, you just go up. Maybe you suffer when you're alive, but that doesn't mean that you have to come back, yeah, because of this karma. But if you do come back because you, your love, your compassion for other beings, then the karma that you still had f- from last life, maybe for the, from other beings from last life, you know, like the one you saved, or the one you are going to save, will be upon you. Then you will be born a just ordinary person, and then you have to somehow awaken or find a master. Somehow it will lead you to practice again, and then you become a Buddha again. Okay? So you are safe if you are Buddha or Bodhisattva. But you have to be reach such certain level, you know, as Bodhisattva or as Buddha. Then even if you were born as human again, you will not be uh, oppressed too long. Yeah? You will somehow, somehow in yourself, something stirring up all the time. And then somehow something will lead you to meet another Buddha or enlightened master or the one who knows the teaching of the Buddha and pass it on to you again, then you're okay. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, like that.